Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the iPod Nano 6th generation in 2024. So, um, do I think it's worth it? Um, I think it's definitely worth it in 2024 if you're looking for a small iPod that's sort of cheap. Um, I, I paid... I got this in a lot that was, I think, $30, and it came with this and a broken iPod Touch and then a bunch of, like, random junky B3 players and stuff, and um, it works perfectly. The battery's great, so I think if you can get one for under, like, $30, I think it's worth it because it is a touchscreen, and they do hold their value a decent amount. Um, they, they don't hold as much value as the 7th gen does, but they still hold their value a lot. So, yeah, um, you can, it has a clip and you can like put it on your shirt or on your like pocket or something. And it does use the 30 pin to charge and it takes headphones off so there's no Bluetooth. Um, and it's a pretty simple device. Um, on the top you have the power button and then the volume down and volume up buttons i know most of them are eight gigs i i don't know if you can get them in 16 gigs or not yeah i would recommend it if you're just looking for a cheap ipod to listen to music and for the size it holds a lot of of songs because it's it's basically an ipod shuffle with a screen and but but the the shuffles only had like one or two gigs um, this has eight, so yeah, I've, I, they, they usually go for, I've seen like ones that are cracked go for like 20, 25 and ones in good condition go for like 30 to like 50, depending on the condition. And if you want one with like a replaced battery, um, you're probably going to be looking at like 60 or 70, but yeah, that's, that's a short video. It's probably terrible, but hope y'all enjoyed. If you can please smash that like button and if you're new, subscribe, I'll see you next time.